Hello and welcome back to Warhammer 40k Mechanicus. If you're truly not in the mad, you have two options. What do you have? Ooh. Different weapons. Different gear. Collect Necron samples. What do you have? Chest warriors. Heals and an axe that doesn't require cognition. Let's go for that one for now. Here we choose which tech priest and troops to take on a mission. Use left mouse button to add a unit to the arrows light to transport. Use right mouse button to remove a unit from the selection. Well, we're bringing both of them and some servitors. No other canticles available, but at least we have one. For some healies. For our feet. I called you here, Electro Dog Mattis from Videx, because your knowledge of spiritual matters and the cult mechanicals will be crucial in dealing with any moral threats on Silver Tenebris. I have 50. I have 543,021 works of scripture stored for rapid context topical retrieval. There is no obstacle beyond my capacity to, to counsel you on. Unnecessary use of cogitative power, waste of resources with the insufficient use, go to augmented pay for improvements. The Sinus tomb is revealed to us as a great hungry mob that seeks to consume our very purity. Blasphemy reeks from every corner of the tomb of Agrolek. Most poetic letter of dogmatis, your thoughts on how to proceed? I shall take my cues from the writings of Archmagus Venetus Her Hereticus. Let the stench of corruption be swept aside by the sweet winds of faith. One of my senseless servitors will cleanse the spiritual corruption with blessed incense. Deploy one immediately. My thoughts exactly, Magus. With your assistance, the Omnisar's work shall be done. Cool. Let's go get that dealt with. The sensor servitor is deployed at the tomb entrance, Magus. I am ready to send it on its way. Halt Subdomina. The sensor servitor is a delicate piece of machinery. It is ill suited to hostile territory. The Berlorians 591, fragile indeed, are the tools of the righteous. It must be escorted on its sacred duty. Don't worry, Nicholas. Every step we take in this tomb risks the lives of our personnel. If the spiritual integrity of the mission truly is at stake, Subdomina Kepra, it is worth the risk. And I assure you, it most definitely is. I've already sent a team ahead. I foresaw your emotional connection to your troops, Kepra. If you are ever to be a Dominus, I must show you how to command. My credit, Magus. The Sinus corruption will destroy us as surely as the guns of the enemy. Very well, this will be done. Okay, so. We have multiple options here, but all in all we want to get over there. What is that green sign though? I'm curious, and my curiosity will be solved. A single port designed for a necrocanter per creature excludes from this device. Okay, let's try the smiley face. That gives us money. Cool. Okay, now my options are to go around or make as quick a way to our goal as possible. We do want to explore. This is non-standard behavior and speaks ill of the meaning of the to maintain this machine. Maximus of Emanuel 512 preferred the defiance of thine own tools, for the enemy finds his entrance thereby. Quite unexpected, a previously unused Voxcaster unit pops out of the Servitor's face panel. In a synthesized voice, it attempts to engage the cohort in philosophical discussion. Perform a diagnostic of the machine that determined the source of this behavior. You will never know who tampered with this machine if all is right, he suffered punishment for his heresy a long time ago. Ooh. 
all kite plaster. Oh, and Necron initiative has been increased as well. That's that's not the part I wanted, but we did get a blueprint, which is cool. Warning: Our presence has been detected. The Necrons are breaking in response to our presence within the tomb. Well, that's not ideal. As you travel through each tomb, defense systems will start activating. This increases the difficulty of the mission. The longer you spend in a tomb, the harder the mission becomes. Exploring the depths of this tomb isn't without reward. There are known amounts of lost knowledge to be found for those willing to dig deeper. Which is what I'm gonna do right now. Magus shut this down before the enemy are attracted to the team, but take care not to damage the machine. The servitor begins emitting a loud blaring noise, perhaps a form of tampering or damage alarm that has been accidentally tripped. The noise is accompanied by flashing lights and random bursts of extremely pungent incense. Diagnose and fix the errant parcel in the servitor. The machine must be protected. The cohort expect the diagnostic to take some time, but quickly notice a cranial probe improperly jammed into one of the corti cortical sockets. Once this is removed, the servitor's non-standard behavior ceases and the cohort has a new appreciation for the proper maintenance and function of such machines. Good. This is no good, Magus. No good at all. The Xenos corruptions take physical form in this monkey folk. Can anything be done? The noise of miasma fumes from the Xenos machinery in the area is masking the servitor's sacred incense. Scour away the corruption with flame. Saying, Sayings of Archimagus Cortico verse 58 Prayer has power, but I cannot de deny fire does too. Righteous flame scours away the miasma, allowing the cohort to advance. The sight of sheets of flame burning away to the toxic fog is indeed inspiring. Good. Okay, let's go that way now. Extra Necrons in battle. That's fun. Could this be a form of Xenos map room? Most perturbatory. Throne knows what blasphemous notions they had about the stars. The chamber's walls are covered in elaborate star charts, covering in extensive annotations in the Necron language, suggesting they record journeys among the stars. Uh, I'm gonna take picture captures of the star maps, they may prove informative. Big captures are made of the star maps and uploaded to the Gogitators and the Cases Metallican for study. Which gives me more black shard, black stones. Black shard is a name of sword, wasn't it? Okay, we'll pop by here as well, and then we'll just stop by a couple more places. While traversing this chamber, the sensor servitor crosses a part of the floor that collapses under the machine's weight. The servitor is trapped on the bottom of a shaft of machinery and pipework and must be extricated. Sort the server to overload its magnetic levitation circuits. Ouch! That they, the go to pronounce the demand phase is detected with the servitors rarely used in temperamental maglev units. The servitor reaches the lip of the hole and is being dragged the rest of the way out when, with a loud bang and belching of acrid black smoke, the key component burns out via this. The servitor is saved from its predicament but at the cost to its structural integrity. Well, that's not perfect now, is it? That's not at all what I wanted. Minion shall be ritually chastised for this maintenance failure. It is imperative to get the servitor function again quickly. Near Dogmatic 7190, if this will be done, let it be done quickly. Okay, the sensor servitor stops moving and starts belching punch and smoke. The runes of attention are blinking on its chassis, indicating several key systems require maintenance. Okay, perform the entire rite of refurbishment, including the incantation of seven diagnostic processes 
This thing is and the then the fabrications. I want your terrorism, my guys. Like us. Aphorism 97, if it's worth doing, it is worth doing the completion. Good. Oh and that apparently healed someone. Okay, and here we go. This is now probably time for actual combat. Kill all enemies. How many are we facing right now? We can currently see three, but there are also several spawn rooms. Let's just get on with it. Oh, yes. No, 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 no. Uh, don't use that right now. We are going here. Yes. For the black stuff. Excellent. Now it's time to start. Let's look at this poor bad boy. It has no specific resistances, so we might as well just fire our guns. These guns aren't very powerful, now are they? But they can certainly be fired. Yeah, we, we're gonna use that. And we're gonna smash down on the bastard. Destruction is the destiny of the Xenos. How did you know? And I learned to turn here. What's... Oh, that's cool. Wait, is that... That's loot as well. I must get to it. Let's bring in a servitor. You know what? Let's bring in two servitors. Done. That's still alive. That's a fair amount of damage. Oh, we have no resistances at all. It's fine. Destroy that. Oh! More friends. Have come to us. Step there, yeah. The plan is Oh right. I forgot that was his ability. I'm gonna wait for the Thingy. Just destroy that. And then we're gonna walk over there to that cognition. And then... Let's grab that as well. We can be quite cognitive. 
Because I want to get to that. Which sort of actually removes the whole purpose of having the other guy on the on the travel path. That's fine. Okay, let's move you over there. From where you can shoot next turn. Oh, Necron Awakening has gone further. Shall I bring in extra servitors? I may as well. Since fact is... That boss is way the fuck over there. This is not the entrance. Those those are also an entrance. Okay, let's just get everyone moving towards there. And get prepared for additional combat. These two will move towards that uh, warrior over there. So valuable they are. I could have scanned first. Oh, we don't need to because he... Did this weapon scan? Oh, this weapon scan. Cool. So I just have two scanners on the guy. It's not like the most impressive machinery out there, but you know, it does something. What is that box? You need to go look at that box as well, it has a specific color. Colored boxes are important. Okay, you stay here and wait for the platform. And you... Can you just shoot this? What does that do? At this point. What does it do? Oh, it reduces Necron Awakening. That's not bad. It doesn't benefit me that greatly, but it isn't bad. You will actually go and smash this machine. If not quite enough. Custom. Okay, let's see if he kills the guy. He does! How rude! hand what is the point of bringing these friends if they're not gonna die for me that's a whole critical of three points of damage almost there picking that part okay and Enter. You got fuck all you can do from there. You ha do not have the range. But that doesn't need scanning anymore. Might as well just grab the extra condition. It's still possible for something to spawn from here or here. But there we go. Extra necrons in battle. They aren't here yet. Alright. Keep on rocking. While you truck this up. This once again doesn't give us all that much, but it's something.
Now I have all my cocks, but that also doesn't do serve me with anything because out of range. If you just delay this unit's turn, uh, delaying the unit's turn will move the unit to the end of the initiative queue. You cannot delay a unit's turn more than once. Well, that's just gonna do this, isn't it? Oh, that was just one point of damage. That's fine. Do you have line of sight on the bastard? No. That's fine. There we go, now you're where you need to be. I still don't know what that box is. But I want to know. To be fair, I would not do well in this whole system. I would be such a filthy heretic. I would want to know everything. And we're not supposed to want to know everything. Apparently knowing everything is bad. Knowing everything is heresy. The sensor servitor reaches a location where the air currents through the tomb will take its sacred exudations to every corner of the tomb. The cohort calls it until its incense is fully deployed and can escort it back to the tomb entrance. The sensor servitor has been delivered to the depths of the tomb, Lecto Dogmatis, its sacred incense now permeates all areas of the structure. A positive outcome, Magus. It is right and proper that you see, as I do, the dangers posed by the corrective influence of the Sinos. It remains to be seen if the tomb is rendered less dangerous for our troops. At the very least, the place is less malodorous. Malodorous. I trust you will continue to consider alien with the hatred and disdain they deserve, Magus. As we explore this world, remember the words of binary hierarchy of Samoa. The weak in mind will seek to understand the sinus, the strong in mind will destroy them and bless their ignorance. Oh, so the wounds cost us... ...some stuff. Okay, 179 mouse clicks, that's fine, 3% of the way to, to awakening. Gant of the craft, the next physical attack will deal plus 3 physical damage, ooh, that sounds like a good time. Let's check on our go holds. oh we can change our color scheme, Mars, Riza, Metallica, or custom. Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I just do black robes? I could, but do I want to? No. 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 We want to go with uh, orange camo if possible. Orange camo is not possible though. There is no good golden color. So let's have that be just grayish. Oh, and you can increase the intensity of the color. Cool. I like that. It's good to know. Well, Magus. Let's see what we can do for you. What is this? Ooh. Unlock a unique body part specific to this discipline. Ah, uh, yeah. That's a good hat. How do I put this hat on you? That's how we put the hat on you. Oh my god, it looks very nice and tentacly. Uh, we also have a new axe. Hmm. Ooh. 
but it's slightly less powerful of an axe. Do we want to give you a high cost Warkite Blaster? Yes, we do. Oh, unplug that. Unplug this. Oh, okay, this is this requires me to remove the axe if I were to do that, so I'll keep the pistol for now. Hmm. Yeah, we need you to have ranged weapons, so I can't give you the that just now. It would be quite interesting. Magus? See, so what can we do for you? Add one energy damage, add one energy armor. Let's give you extra energy damage. That sounds like a particularly good time. Because this will allow us to mess about a lot. Considering now these deal one extra damage each. That is going to be handy. Okay, we still have enough points for another upgrade. But I think I'm gonna give that to the Magus. What's this? Ooh. Mm. Yeah, that can be handy. But it's not an immediate pleasure now, is it? No. Also, we can remove this now. And put in... The Volkite Plaster. Yes. Actually, I want the work at plaster in this hand, so the axe hand remains different from it. Yeah, that's what I like. So we have some new tech. And a whole lot of it. Ooh. Oh, so that's how I got that. Cool. This is, this is nice, really nice. Okay, I'm liking that this is so far, so I hope you are too. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. By the will of Tom Messiah, bye bye.